Hi, this is Connie Cleveland with 12-week-old Pandemonium, and today we're outdoors at one of my favorite parks, and I'm going to introduce him to some obedience exercises, or at least some puppy version of obedience exercises. This is the beginning of directed jumping, if you will, or maybe you want to call it just directed running. I've got uh, a white board and a bar jump board on the ground and the first thing I'm doing is just introducing him to both of those objects and showing him he can come over them and I'm going to try pretty quickly here to add my signal telling him what way I want him to go. Since I don't have anybody to hold him while I walk away I use his target and that a treat in the top of that target distracts him long enough that I can get a head start and then I can call him and put my arm up and show him what direction I want him to come to me. So it's just a directed recall, come to the right, come to the left. If he were to come the wrong direction, I would just pick him up and carry him back and start over. In other words, there would just be no celebration when he got to me. I think one of the really important things when you're working a puppy this age and stage is to continually change the subjects and not do too many repetitions. So we're right away going to go on to a setup that looks more like a broad jump. So now what I want him to do is jump that little solid jump and come around the end of the gate just like he would jump a broad jump and then make a circle to his right to come to me. And so that's what I'm introducing him to, is jump the jump and circle to me. Again, I use that target only to get distance from him. If I had a person who could actually physically hold him in a sit there, that would be appealing to me as well. But on this particular morning, I was at the park by myself. Now you've seen him do this in the comfort and quiet of my kitchen. I've never tried to do it outside before and so I had really no idea whether he was going to be concentrated enough to do it or just get too distracted. He's been nice. rewarded a lot lately for getting into that box and so I'm a little out of balance. What I mean by that is he's gotten more rewards for getting in the box than any of the other behaviors I'm asking him to do. So you're going to see him several times head for the box. So I have to kind of convince him not to race for the box, but to offer some of the other things. So this one is just a straight recall back to me. Wow, there you go. Now, I'm moving quickly on purpose because, again, their attention span is awfully short and I've got to be as interesting as I can be to keep him interested in the game. So that time I'm going to reward him for the sit and I purposefully send him away from the box because his intention is, when in doubt, run to the box. Okay, one more. Then we'll change subjects again. Yeah. No. I dropped his dumbbell out of my pocket, so I quickly picked that back up so it wouldn't be a distraction. And then finally on this last one, I didn't want him to think that it was always wrong to go to the box, so I did send him to the box. Nice! That's my boy! <laughs>